Okay, so thank, welcome to Quick Tip number two, part two. This is going to be dealing with auctions, online and offline. The ones you actually go to, and you know, you got a number, and you go, hey, hey, you know, like, you know, what, the, what the hell is that TV series uh, with with the uh, with rental units there? Uh, oh, what the hell is the name of that goddamn series? Why do I have mental block? Storage Wars. Okay. I can go to a regular or auctions like storage wars, but I'm not going to storage unit auctions. I'm going to like you know, uh, sir, how would you like to bid on this uh, 15th century? You know that kind of auction. Um, but these aren't obviously you know the prissy ones. These are just you know people clearing out their houses and here's a junk, and here's a box out of this. I'm gonna tell you, going to those auctions if you can find the right kind is a hell of a way to get video games and a hell of a way to get toys if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, it's starting to catch on a little bit and I have some competition at these places but I still find them at good prices. These people are resellers and they don't want to go over a certain price. So me being a collector slash reseller I guess that's good for me because I can go a little bit over that price and still feel like I got a good deal. And I go there to get these to resell stuff so I can buy more stuff for my collection. I constantly, I mean, for instance, these right here, these right here, those Transformers were all in a box. Every single one of them except for Optimus was in a box, uh, you know, like a liquor box full of Transformers and some Connects, I think. I got the box for $20. There's a Megatron, a Soundwave, a... Uh, except for Devastator there. Devastator was not in there. Devastator was another... I got him at an auction, though. I got him for like $5 a piece. So that's like 25 bucks. Because, you know, he could see... It, you could see Devastator plainly, so people, you know, knew better. But the... These were in a box with a bunch of other stuff, like Kinex and other toys and stuff. So you had to dig through this box really good. And that's what I do. I dig through these boxes at auctions. If you go to auction and you see stuff like that, dig through the boxes sometimes because you'll find shit. And I, there was, even, even the ones on the shelf uh, weren't all the Transformers that were there. There was, there was the uh, Ironhide that's up there. Um, I believe Rodimus Prime was not in the box. But Ironhide and Bumblebee were. Uh, Megatron and Soundwave were. Those are the ones I kept. There was other ones that are in there that I could not keep. Like, I wanted to keep. I'm, I want to collect the Dinobots, and I fucking can't find them at good prices. And I don't want to overpay for them. But, uh, there was a Swoop in there. And I was like, oh my god, he's my favorite. I love Swoop. But then I went to transform him, and I broke his beak. He was fucking perfect. So I sold him online. I didn't want to have a broken. I sold Swoop for $40. Broken beak and all. Durr. I mean, without the broken beak, he's like 80. So, I mean, it's good. I mean, Megatron's worth a, more, a lot more than that. Megatron's not complete, by the way. And neither is Soundwave or any of the ones up there. Uh, but there was also a couple Diaclones uh, in the box, too, that I sold off. There was Diaclone, Dinobot, uh, Snarl. And he had wings like a dragon. It was kind of freaky looking. But uh, that sold for $45. And he was broken. There was a couple other ones I sold that were broken that I didn't want. And I made a lot of money off it. And it, so basically all those back there are free. Everything up there was pretty much free because I made money off those lots that I bought. So auctions. You can like look in um, auctionzip.com. Okay, they do have, and this is what I'm getting to next: a live and online auctions. Auctionzip.com not only has live online auctions, but they also have the auctions where you can go to. I mean, some of them are both. Some of them are only ones you can go to, and some of them are only live. But you can, it'll, it'll show you the ones in your areas, and sometimes they'll have a preview of what they have, so you don't even have to leave your house to see what they have there. You know. This one I go to almost every Friday, and I haven't been in a while, and I should kick myself in the head for that, but I haven't been there in a while. Every Friday, they don't always have something, but it's always worth the look for that. And I've gotten many, many of systems there for 
dirt cheap. There was that one 3DO though, one for a couple hundred bucks, but what are you gonna do? Um, but anyway, so if you can find an auction near you that sells stuff like this, just household items, like somebody's aunt died and they need to clean out the house, so they hire an auction company to come take everything and then sell it all. It's basically what this auction company does. There's plenty of auction companies like that around everywhere. Find it. Go to it on a regular basis. And, and once you get in, them, in with the people there, man, when you raise your hand at the same time somebody else does, they'll pick you first. Oh, yeah. You spend your money, they know it. Now I'm going to go on to the online auctions, and this will include eBay as well. Um, listen, eBay is full of resellers and all that kind of stuff, so the deals are really hard to find when they come up. Bam, they're gone because somebody's already looking for them. They're pressing that refresh button or they got a bot that's helping them out or something. So it's really hard. That doesn't mean they are not hard. That They, they, they are not there. eBay still has deals to find. You just got to be persistent and diligent and know what to look for. It's not like you can get the misspellings much anymore because eBay has a workaround for that in their system. Pretty much if they, you misspell something in your listing, it's going to know what you misspelled and it's still make it a searchable item for that anyway. That being said, um, I have found deals. Like uh, I've been big on repairing 3DSs to support my income. <sighs> Starting to climb up there. Uh, 3DSs, I was just getting around $30, and now they're up to about 40 But some of them I can't repair. But I take a shot. And when I repair them, you know, I get an $85 return on them. I have a couple of videos here where I repaired some, and voila, double my money. Not that hard, really, too, if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing about repairing them, don't want to watch my videos. Not really how-to videos. They're just kind of me repairing something. <laughs> that being said, um, Auction Zip. I, I don't understand the fascination with Auction Zip for a couple of reasons. Most of the time when you buy stuff on there, um, it's for more than you would buy it on eBay. Like, these, I bought some G.I. Joes and stuff. G.I. Joe's and Transformers. I bought this Menasaur on Auction Zip or Proxy Bid. They're both pretty much the same site. Uh, most of the people on Auction Zip and Proxy Bid have, a, have a, a profile on both sites and you can bid from either site. It doesn't matter. Basically, these are auction houses, like you, like I was telling you before, you go to live, and they have they're having their live auction. But while they're having their live auction, they're also accepting online bids. And for whatever reason, man, they tend to go high. Like the transformers and stuff tend to. I mean, not quite at eBay prices, but not at a big enough discount that. I'm like, yeah, uh, I can resell this. Yeah, so video games for the most part, no. Now, toys, I pay a little bit more for my toys because I'm collecting most of them. I'm not going to resell them. So, you know, whatever. Some, some of them I will if I can, like the lots over here. Whew, thank God. Um, but this, the Minnesota I just showed you, the, the, he was part of the Combaticons um, G1. 55 bucks. He comes with the the big gun and the, and the big sword, not the little guns for the individual cars. 55 or 65. 65 bucks. It's not a bad price for him, but then you add in tax and a buyer's premium, which every auction has if you go to it. It's another thing. When you go to an auction, don't forget to add that buyer's premium. Ask what the buyer's premium is and, and add it in your head when you're bidding. But that's besides the point. So it, and it's just racks my brain how many people are on the Nintendos and stuff that they sell. Like, for instance, I'm just going to show you this. Like, for instance, I bought this Nintendo. Yep, I bought this Nintendo. Dirty as hell on eBay. Or on eBay, no. Uh, proxy bid. Proxy bid, okay? And I bid... $47. I bid $47 for it. That's a pretty good price for Nintendo. $45 for a broken Nintendo on eBay. So that's about right, right? Um, it came with 
four NES controllers, a Super Nintendo controller, a, a weird controller, a whole bunch of cords, um, three NES games, two N64 games. That's a really good price. But then there's the buyer's premium and the tax. That brings it up to like 60 some dollars. Still an okay price. Not a great price, but an okay price. This fucker better work now, right? <laughs> um, then there's shipping. The shipping costs on some of these people's sites are ridiculous. If if you can find a proxy bid guy or an auction zip house, because each each of them have their own you know one of the, their own profiles that does pretty good shipping. Like the guy I was buying these GI Joes and Transformers for, pretty on spot shipping. He's not raping me. Like he charged me ten bucks for shipping for like twenty five GI Joes in that Minnesota. That's pretty common. That's pretty good. So I was okay with that. But fucking almost forty dollars for shipping on this goddamn item. Two different uh boxes um flat rate by the way large flat rate boxes $15 a piece cuz I do shipping on eBay I know how much they cost <coughs> so that's 30 bucks right they charge me 40 fuckers yo yeah, well, they get a pack of packing material this is their fucking packing material they get that shit from the houses that they clean out don't give me that bullshit so they're making money off you from that. And that, that's what gets me why so many people still buy off these sites. And I'm still doing it. I did it because, I mean, I knew that I... I did it for this video, for one. For two, I did it because... I knew I'd still make money. Because there's some good games that came with. Three Nintendo games, one of them was Metroid. Two N64 games, one was Donkey Kong 64, and one was uh, Diddy Kong's Racing. So, I mean, I'm going to make 20, 30 bucks off it. I didn't lose anything. It's still kind of not worth it, though. Because i got to do a lot of cleaning on the NES, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so, that that's my whole thing with these uh, sites like Auction Zip and Proxy Bid. eBay, you know what you're getting into with the shipping, so it's different. You don't know what you're going to get from shipping from Proxy Bid or Auction Zip until they actually charge you. They don't tell you beforehand what shipping is. Um... That being said, it doesn't mean you can't find deals on these sites. These are a lot more difficult to find. You have to do a lot of more searching. It's not like the search engine on eBay, which, you know, you just search this and it comes up and you get press the button and you're done. No, you actually have to do fine-tooth comb searching. Like, say I want to buy G.I. Joe's. Everybody's going to search G.I. Joe, even with the dot and without the dot or whatever. So I put in action figures. Do you know how many different auctions there are for action figures? You just got to find basically what the auction has that they don't know that they have. They don't know that they have a an old Transformer or it's it's a car, but it's really a Transformer. They didn't know it transformed or whatever. <coughs> Search for toy cars or robot toy. Or, or some other way you think somebody who doesn't know what this item is would list it as. And you can find some deals on there like that. I think, uh, how did I find the one? I don't even remember. It was a while ago I found a, a video system, video game system on. Nobody else bid on it. Nothing. Not even the people at the auction bid on it, which was a miracle. But 25 bucks plus everything. I got it for like 40 bucks. It was an NES. You know, like six games. Man, that was awesome. You can still find them. You just have to do your due diligence and search. Okay, that's it for this quick tip. Number two, part two, auctions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any questions, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to answer. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thank you for kicking it retro with me.